Hey everybody, it's Vicki with Dementia with Grace. I hope everybody's doing great today. Today is the letter L. We are doing the ABCs of Dementia FAQs, the most queried uh, questions, um, searches on Pinterest, YouTube, and Google, alphabetized. <laughs> all the questions that people ask about dementia. And today we're talking about L, the letter L, and we're talking about last stages. Um, this is a difficult subject. I've done a whole video on the end stages of Alzheimer's and other types of dementia. Um, they're very similar uh, to Alzheimer's. And so that is stages six and seven, and I'll try to remember to put it up here. Um, and um, so today we're gonna talk a little bit in more specific specificity easy for me to say, um, with um, the last stages and what to expect um, in the final days, the last days. Um, I have worked a lot with hospice, and if you have hospice available to you, if that is offered to you, um, or you can ask about it, it's available um, everywhere, that is the route that I would go. I love the folks that work with hospice. They are specifically trained um, to deal with folks in their last stages, and they offer the kind of comfort, the kind of support, um, just, just the kind of knowledge that you need um, there in the last stages for your person with dementia. I believe that the last days um, are holy, uh, it's a holy time. I have absolutely been at bedsides, you know, in the last few days, the last few hours, the last few minutes of a person that is transitioning um, from this life into what I believe is the next eternal life. Um, that is my belief set. I'm a Christian and that's what I believe. Other people certainly have their own beliefs and, and, and that, is, that is your prerogative, um, but that is what I believe and so that is what the position that I teach from. Um, so know that going forward. Um, I believe that it is a sacred, holy, precious time in a person's life. Um, I was at the bedside with my father when he passed away, when he transitioned over. Um, I was not with my mother when she passed away. Um, I believe that people can, um, can choose to be alone or choose to be with family. I, I just believe that. I believe that my daddy wanted all of us right there, and I don't believe my mother wanted anybody with her. I think she thought it would be too hard on us. Um, I have been at the bedside um, when people um, drew their last breath, people strangers to me, other than um, the fact that they had maybe been my, my patient, my resident, my charge um, for, you know, a little while. Um, and it's just, um, it is, it is sacred. I, I don't know any other way to explain it. So for people who are afraid, um, you know, there are a lot of people that want to, to die at home, and they say that, I want to die at home. In my group, we've had lots of people um, just recently who their parents have transitioned over, and, you know, they didn't know what to expect. They were um, afraid of the last moments, and then they have now told us, it, you know, I wouldn't trade it. I, I would not trade it. I'm so glad that I was there in the final moments. And um, it's just a, it's really, it, unless you've been there, you can't describe it, but it's just one of those things that it's just, it's just holy. To me, it's the same thing as bringing a baby into the world. It's a holy, sacred experience. It's just a miracle. It's a miracle. And um, to me, dementia is, is, is human development in reverse. And when you think of the last stages, you know, we think about in my, in my video that the um, stage six, seven, um, I talked about that the person becomes um, infanticized almost. It's, it's, you know, it's kind of a drawing up and a, and a coming into themselves. And, you know, they, they will bring their feet closer to them and play with their feet and, you know, uh, pull on their ears and, you know, things like that. It's just, it just looks very infantile. Um, and I, I don't know, it just, to me, you know, we go into a baby, we go into an interaction with a baby with love and wonder. And, you know, I'm so happy to be in your presence. And I, I, I reiterated that in the other video. That is exactly what I take into an interaction with a person in the deep, deep end stages, last stages of dementia. 
I love you just the way you are. I'm so honored to be in your presence. I'm so thrilled to have this interaction with you. Um, what can I learn in this moment? How can I serve you in this moment? That's exactly what I take into an interaction with somebody in their last stages. I don't go in there with sorrow. I don't carry with me sadness. I don't carry with me regret over what I cannot do or what they cannot do. I go in there thinking, you know, oh, what a treasure you are. What a treasure this is, this interaction. Um, and we sing and we pat and I rub lotion and I rub their elbows and their ankles and their feet and their knees. Things that I know might be hurting because um, they are becoming contracted in the last stages. There's not a lot of communication. Um, not many, many people in the end stages can no longer speak. Sometimes you will get a little bit of lucidity. And it's not even true lucidity, but it's kind of an awakening, kind of a um, I see you, you know, it's in the in the sixth stage, sixth stage, seventh stage, you will see a lot of flattening of an affect. We've talked about that in our group here lately, where their eyes seem just to not be connecting with you. That's what I mean. When there's a moment of lucidity, it's it's not that they're gonna wake up and talk to you necessarily, but it's almost like they can see you again. It, just for a second. It just it will it will it's fleeting, it will come and go. Um, and you know, and it's like, oh hey. There you are in there. Their soul is always in there. I believe that their soul is there. Um, their body is shutting down. Um, just as if, you know, they're in the womb and their body is waking up and they're, you know, they're, they're, getting, they're getting going, they're getting ready to be born. That is a transition. Being born is a transition from one state to another. Dying is a transition from one state to another. That's, that's what it is. And um, I believe that. And so their body is preparing. Um, you know, their soul is, is there, but their body is, is dying. That's why the thirst decreases. The hunger diminishes. I just believe that their body is pulling all of their energy inward um, to their vital organs, and then those will, uh, you know, eventually shut down. That's the death process. So the last stages, I think people really... Um, really fear the last stages, but, but I want to tell you that I don't believe that there's anything to fear. If you have um, it just a natural um, fear of death or, you know, just a, I just don't want to go there, I just cannot let go, I just cannot go in that, I just cannot even think about my mother not being here with me. I cannot think about my father no longer being on this earth with me. I encourage you to reach out um, to the people in hospice, to friends that maybe have gone through deaths. I've had a lot of death in my, in my life. I've lost my sister at a young age. I was 10, she was 15. I've lost both my parents. I was 27 when my mother died. I was 30 when my father died. I lost my grandmother when I was my favorite, my, oh my gosh, the favorite, my favorite person in the whole wide world. My grandmother died when I was 20 years old. And it just was a shock and a, you know, just, oh, it was awful. Um, but I have faced death. I have seen death. You know, I have been at the bedside of I, countless people, countless people who no longer had a family member or had family members who could not be there for one reason or another. And I was there with that person um, when they transitioned over. What an honor. What an honor. And it just, if you've not been through it, um, I, don't, I just encourage you not to be afraid of it. Um, just get all the information. You know, there's lots of videos on end stages. And, and I, I went through what the end stages look like in that six and seven video, so I didn't want to re revisit that here. Um, but there's so many books. There's so many. On Death and Dying by Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, it's really more about after death. It's really... Um, it's a lot of, of, she teaches the five stages of grief, but that is an excellent book. There are so many books um, about the death and dying process that I would encourage you to read. Um, but these are the last stages that, that I wanted to talk about today. If you have any questions, if you need any support, please come down uh, down in the comments or come on over to the, uh, the, the, the uh, come off of YouTube, on to Facebook, the Dementia with Grace Caregiver Support Group. Um, and we will we will be your 
your, uh, your dementia family. Uh, we would love to be that for you. If you need somebody to say, I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know how to deal with this, I don't want to deal with this, help and we will. Okay, all right. I will talk to y'all again on Wednesday. Oh, no, 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 tomorrow we have a video. We have a video, the, I am reviewing the book Dancing with Elephants tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, I do a video every Monday through Friday on this channel. If you haven't subscri subscribed, please subscribe. I would appreciate that. And so you'll never miss a video. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we do educational videos. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do review type videos. Um, and uh, we just talk about all things dementia. I love what I do. I thank you for letting me come in, into your life and come alongside you on this journey. I will talk to you soon. Love y'all. Bye. Mwah.